Hey there, Internet Keith here, and welcome to the Cars and Keith YouTube channel. Something very exciting happened. Somebody actually sent me a pressure washer for free to do a review on. Now you're probably asking yourself, why would you be so excited about something like this? Well, I get emails constantly to do reviews, but they always want to pay for a review or a favorable video. And I just don't like that. I like to just put it through its paces and see what it does for the car detailing world. So, so even if the numbers aren't what they're supposed to be, if it's still sufficient for car washing, I would still give it a decent review for that. So this is the TN day. It is the 5225B. And it says 2300 PSI and 2.2 gallons per minute. Now we all know when they post those numbers, that is the theoretical max limit that these are capable of doing. So this does have the 15 millimeter M22. It has a normal water hose connection at the end. Nothing actually you have to do there. This cord though, I'm not sure because I measured it at like 17 and a half feet which is weird, and the advertisement says it comes with an inline GFCI. I don't see one, it's just a cord. Comes with a quarter inch hose. It has the M22 on this side, but it has a weird proprietary connection here that there's really no adapter for. Now it's 18 feet long, which is just a crazy length. That's, that's not even long enough to get around most cars. Your spray gun, which has that proprietary connection right here. It has that adjustable piece at the end, but there's no quarter inch quick disconnect and it's just a, a open spray pattern. There's no uh, nozzle tips or anything. So I had these adapters hoping I'd be able to use them on the gun, but I can't. Uh, this one is just not right. And this one's pretty close, but as you tell up here, slightly longer in length, O-rings in a different place, and this has like a cone shape. So here's a strange, weird proprietary connection they have here. Basically you push this button in and there it is. And it's basically the same down here at the end for the nozzle. You just pull it apart, snap it in, that's it. Here is the setup. We have the Tiende here. We put a quick disconnect for the garden hose there, which connects to our hose. I have the brass shutoff valve, amazing product right there. So that way I can push all the flow to the hose and then turn it off and on from here. We have our cord plugged in to our extension ran out to right here and we're using the kilowatt and it's set to amps so we'll be able to see the amps i'll have a link in the description below for that trying that out for the first time today so down here we're using a 15 millimeter m22 connection this is the male end and that came with this female end that i have already screwed into the hose then we have our psi gauge so that basically bridges the two right so if you were to do a regular without testing you would just connect it straight in but this one will connect here and then we'll connect that one to that. And they'll connect it just like that. So now we can see our PSI. There is our bucket. Down on the side, it has measurements for every half gallon. So I missed a product that comes with this as well, this foam cannon. The fan spray is sideways and not up and down. So this just has an adjustable tip that just turns. You shoot straight or as wide of a fan as you want. So initial PSI. Is about 800 you see it holds a thousand but when you push it 800 running so here's the amps this screen is really hard to read with this camera about nine and a half ish all right one minute So as you can see, just slightly under 1.25 gallons per minute, like maybe like 1.23, 1.24. Not bad for the price range, but nowhere near what they're stating. And this is what you get out of the box. Since this is proprietary, we can't change nozzles. This is the most PSI and the most gallons per minute that you're gonna be able to get out of this. 1.25 and 800 PSI. Not horrible car washing numbers, not the best either. One thing that I really like about this unit is its total start stop. It's on and off pretty quick and it's pretty quiet. Some of them whine and make really loud noises and take forever to turn off. This is pretty quick. All right, so let's convert this and see what we can get out of it. First things first, turn the water off, which is great because you can turn it off from right here. Just for a second, you can have it on so that we get rid of the water and the pressure really quick. And the first thing I'm gonna do is disconnect a pressure gauge because we're gonna move the pressure gauge to between the gun and the end of the hose. Get rid of this piece of junk. I'm gonna hook up my hose reel, which is right here. 
And then we got our SGS 28. And I've got one of my nozzles. This is a 40 degree 1.0. So this should get us the maximum amount of PSI. And I am bypassing my water filtration. So I'm just taking the hose directly to the unit. Ah, it's leaking. I just hand tighten that just to see what can happen. But I have my awesome trusty flip tool right here. And I have the entire assembly sitting inside. So I can tighten this down. We're not leaking now. With this being a 1.0, that hole is so small, it's gonna create a lot of back pressure. This thing's gonna make some weird noises. We could blow it up, who knows? Let's find out. All right, here goes nothing, right? You can see it can't even handle it, but it did get up to 1200 PSI, but it's just, it's, it can't handle the size. Let's change it now. Well, it started raining, so I had to move inside real quick, but that's why we got a garage, right? So 1.5. And all right, it can't handle it. it gets at about 1150, 1200 like the previous one and just pulsates. Like it can't keep up. Cost at pressure, this is the most PSI that we can get. This is with a 2.0 orifice at a 40 degree. Where they use a 0, 15, 25, it doesn't matter. They're going to get the same PSI. 1000 PSI. 10.10 .10 amps so it's a 1400 watt motor so that's you know 11 and a half amps and we only got the 10.10 .10 with that I'm pretty sure the 1.0 was closer but it shut off before it ever got a chance to even get the peak amps it would just pulsate now mother nature said I want to throw some leaves in your video Well, I apologize for the noise, but it started raining like crazy. I gotta get this video done. So we put a minute on the clock. So that's 2.0. It was about 1050 PSI the whole time. Between one and 1.25, like 1.15 gallons per minute, as expected, increased PSI, you will lessen GPM. So this is the 2.5. Just gonna check pressure. I already got water in there from the last run. All right, that confirms that the current setup stock is a 2.5 orifice. I got the exact same amps, little like right just below 9.5, and I got that 800 PSI. So we don't have to do the GPM test for the 2.5, since we know that's what stock is. Uh, it should be the 1.25 gallons per minute. Here's a 3.0 nozzle. Let's see what kind of result we get. So the 3.0 nozzle, we're only getting eight amps and like 600 PSI. Uh, let's find out the gallons per minute for the 3.0. That PSI is too low. You know, there's, there's a delicate balance between gallons per minute and PSI. You get the high gallons per minute, but if your PSI is not there, it's not gonna clean good. Look, it's empty, one minute on the clock. The 3.0 is expected, increased GPM. It looks like we're at like 1.35. I'd say it's a decent number, 1.3, 1.35. So just to make sure that this is all okay, my V52 is now hooked up. 3.0 warpus puts at about 1,000, 1,050 PSI. Uh, I'm not gonna measure gallons per minute though, I'm just gonna shoot it into the bucket. And about 13 or so amps. Yep, we pulled 13.25 amps and we pulled exactly 1,000 PSI. Should get us exactly 1.75 gallons per minute for the 3.0 with that setup. All right, stock setup. As you can see, I have this dangerously close to the car. Not a big fan of it. The hose is all over the freaking place. I'm gonna have to be very careful with it. I'm gonna have a hard time getting to the back of the car. Probably gonna have to move this around. Uh, but let's try this out. Uh, rinsing.
Yeah. Okay. Pick it up. Bring it with you. I mean, it's all right. Typical stock hose, just uh, just not pliable at all. Um, the gun is the same length. Uh, the fact that you know I can't know exact degrees of what this is, but it's all right. It's not really cleaning a whole lot. It's mainly just rinsing off. So stock foam cannon, you just click off. Put it on. At least you don't have to put it on the far end of the wand. You're closer. A little more control. Uh, the fan is only this way. It's fixed. It can't go two different directions. And this is full strength soap. 250 milliliters worth of W4 from G Technic. I mean, to do a full car, it's going to take 250 milliliters of soap. We've now put half water, half soap to see if there's any difference in the suds. I mean, it's not bad. Really, because, look how it's evacuating the surface. So now we're about a quarter dilution, 25%. So just like pressure and flow, there's an equilibrium to where everything just works perfect. Now, have we diluted ourselves beyond that? We're about to find out. I mean, there was no expectation of foam with that little thing. It's not really a foam cannon, it's a, a soap applier, which we call soap dispenser. All right, so that's unit in stock form. Never gonna touch it that way again. Uh, so now let's go and add my wash cart. We'll use the MJJC foam cannon and use the SGS 28 gun to rinse off. The only other thing about these hoses is they're easy to put up because they're so wound up and they just go right back to being quilled. So when it comes to adding the hose and the gun and everything, this really doesn't add any performance. It's just a better feel. It's just a lot easier to have a longer hose and a hose that doesn't bind up or kink. It just kind of stays on the ground. It's easier to control this gun. And you know, with this kind of nozzle, you can just change them and, and change what you want. We could go down to the 2.0 nozzle and get a little bit better cleaning power for sure. The moment you've all been waiting for, MJJC version two with a 1.1 millimeter orifice. Got my meter here. Put the amps and let's see what it can do. Nine and a half. Not bad amp wise. I told you the MJJC Pro version 2 can make anything foam. Look at that. It's 120 milliliters of W4 citrus foam from G Technic and then filled the rest of the way with deionized water to the 1000 milliliter mark. Well, one thing you'll notice is when you do have lower gallons per minute, especially using a 1.1, it uses the soap a lot faster than a 1.25, uh, so it does drain pretty quick. Let me tell you the difference between like 1.25 gallons per minute, 1.75 or closer to two is I don't have to make that second pass back when I'm rinsing this way, right? I'm not leaving any soap behind but I'm actually having to go back. One more time to get all of the soap off. And then when I'm pushing the soap this way, I'm having to do more uh, motion back and forth to get this soap pushed that way. It's still got soap everywhere. It rinses a lot better with the the stock foam cannon because it's not really thick foamy soap. This thick foamy soap is so hard to get off when you don't have enough rinsing power. 
Now, is that a deal breaker for somebody who was looking for just a, a cheap unit to use out of a garage? No, not really, but for somebody like me who washes cars all the time, sometimes two in one day uh, between mine, I just want it to be as an enjoyable experience as possible. If it's not enjoyable, I'm just not gonna wanna do it. So, final thoughts on the TNDA 2300 you know, not really 2300, but I may have been a little harsh in the video, but I just don't like it when people post numbers that just aren't theoretically to me possible. Um, they're probably saying, hey, that if we put an upgraded motor in there, this pump is capable of this, possibly. But in the package, the way it is, impossible to get those numbers. Now, can it work for somebody? Maybe with a slightly smaller car because it'll link to the hose and you pull it out of the garage and like pay like 80 bucks something like that, maybe even less than that, depending on you know, you know know how the price fluctuates, possibly. I've seen some advertisements and I've had people send me emails saying 3,800 PSI, 3.0 gallons per minute. I mean, to even get over two gallons per minute, 2.1, 2.2 gallons per minute on an electric pressure washer and get like even 1,500 PSI at the same time, you need a 20 amp breaker. You can't even do it with the normal 15 amp fuse of a house. This thing only has an 11 and a half amp motor in it. I mean, how is it gonna make those capabilities? So in conclusion, I'm probably gonna have to buy pressure washers from now on unless a legitimate company that lives by their numbers would wanna send one. So from this video, if you took anything, the MJJC Pro version two, whether you go to their website and use uh, the link below uh, and the discount code there, or you go to Amazon to get it, the gun, the hose reel, the hose, all those things. The VE52 pressure washer, this is basically an advertisement for it as well. Awesome, $245 for that kind of performance. I mean, it's a no brainer. But stay tuned soon, I'm gonna do my research. I'm definitely gonna to try to find the perfect unit to create the cheap wash cart. So that way you guys that uh, like to watch these videos but a lot of times don't have the fundage or the want to upgrade, maybe you can. We'll get the cheap cart, the cheap hose, the cheap pressure washer, the cheap gun and we'll get something to work really well to wash your car. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. He finally sent me, uh, oh my God. <clears throat> mainly the reason that this is, mainly the reason this is, mainly the reason this is, oh. I'm gonna do a true Amish review. I'm gonna put, are you kidding me? Every single time, man. So down here we're using the, oh my gosh. So down here we're using a 15 millimeter. Oh my god. So down here we're using a 15 mil. <laughs> it basically goes from a just a straight. What in the world? Something's not right. Something's clogged. Oh, I turned the water off. Freaking moron. <sighs> I even took an hour break earlier to wait for him to finish. And then the minute I start doing this stuff, he comes right back. All right, so here's the 1.5. Rain, 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 rain. One minute on the clock. I get tons and tons of emails 